Hey guys, so here we are in our last portion of uh, chapter 5 of uh, the book of Daniel. And we're going to be going through verses 25 through 31. And this is essentially the interpretation where uh, Daniel finally gives the meaning of what the inscription said. And essentially it means numbered, numbered, weighed, and divided. And that's a, uh, in that time, in, in that language, that could have meant a, a slew of things, a lot of different things, and which was the frustrations of the, uh, the, medians, uh, the mediums and the uh, diviners that uh, Belshazzar was calling. They could read it, but they just couldn't interpret what exactly it meant. And so here comes Daniel, the 80-year-old Daniel, and he just goes in and goes, yep, this is what it means. It means that your days have been numbered. So that's the, the numbering coming twice. It's kind of, you know, accents the fact that this is important. It's, it's coming soon. So the number numbered, you've been found weighed, um, and now your kingdom is going to be divided by the Medo-Persians. And so, uh, again, this is a common thing. could be, you know, uh, it could mean a bunch of common everyday things, but the fact of the circumstances, right, there's a mysterious hand that writes, shows that this is, you know, quite a profound thing. And so it, it's got to mean more than just a, a common saying. And so, uh, Daniel gives this, and then we see in verse 29 that Daniel eventually ends up with what Belshazzar had promised. He promised him, uh, right, he promised him a robe of purple, uh, a gold chain, and then put in this rank. Um, and Daniel, at the time, uh, in earlier verses, he didn't want anything to do with that. But here we see that he ends up with it. And he's probably reluctant. And ultimately, I think that Daniel knew that it didn't matter what was given to him because obviously the kingdom was coming to an end. And so therefore, uh, it really didn't matter much whether he took it or not. It wasn't like he was going to get a position anyway, because this kingdom was soon passing away. And so kingdoms come and go, and as people of God, we shouldn't pursue uh, only what this world has to offer. And so we know that, we read that from Scripture, we see that we shouldn't, uh, um, we shouldn't uh, seek treasures here on earth, or you know, lay up treasures for ourselves here on earth, where moth and rust destroy, or thieves can break in and steal. And we know that we read those words from Jesus, and yet we still pursue these things. We still want the, you know, the pat on the back from the world. We still want the world to accept, and we still want the world's acceptance. But that shouldn't be the case. And so, knowing what the Bible says about laying up treasures on earth, are we still in pursuit of those things? Because ultimately, they'll pass away. And just like this king came and went, and Daniel came and did his thing, and he was still being faithful to what God had called him to, he still didn't seek that goal of receiving those things. And so likewise, we shouldn't receive or look to receive what the world is offering us. Instead, we should just continue to listen to what God is doing and be faithful to what he's called us to. And then just be sure to keep an eye and make sure that we are learning from our past mistakes and hopefully learning from others' mistakes so that we don't have to be humbled by God in such a fashion like Belshazzar.